So uh, today, today's journey was about the element of water. It is sustenance, that's for sure. But I uh, really wanted to get into the, to, the, to the meaning of it, you know? And that's what I'm hoping to, to do with this, is to express how important this element is, you know? First off, it flows like emotion, and it's subtle at times, and it soothes the face of the earth but it also bores and burrows deep through the, through the surface of Earth, you know, like emotions. And uh, I guess that's probably why the two are you know, connected. It is pulled by the sway of the moon. And um, it is required in the blend, in the alchemy of animation, of just about everything. It's a, it's a lubricant. It's the seat of the soul in the house of the body. And uh, it is the gateway from the soul realm to ours. There's connection direct connection. It's the place where the soul enters the body <clears throat> and it fuses itself in the blood which is completely made up of, of, of water and minerals, right? It, uh, it's formative, you know, it can be used to make things. It's required in tempering cooling and healing even in your body when you cut yourself <clears throat> the clear fluid that comes out immediately to start the healing process you know liquid all liquid contains water you know? it is uh, it is required peace to take these dr these dry inanimate things and turn them into fluidity and have flow so that they can be used in the process of life, you know, um, that's important, you know, uh, I use it with ice, with its, you know, with its excited molecules all compacted, I use those two things, it and itself, to separate cannabis resin from the cannabis plant, and uh, to an amazing and beautiful result. Uh, and it tastes of the earth, you know? And so you combine those two things, those two elements, to create something. In the same way that water combined with earth to create the vessel and then became the thing that seated the soul in the vessel. You understand? That's deep. If that's not worthy of reverence, for us, I don't know what is. I mean, that's important. Think about the percentage of your body that is made up of water. Think about the percentage of the surface of Earth, or the, or, or, or the entirety of Earth, that is made up of water. Now think about all the things. We need water, or fluids that contain water, or, you know, uh, to have. 
everything has a moisture content. There's a reason for that, you know? Water is representative of, a, uh, of another substance, in a way, as well. It's a, it's a permeation of it here, you know? And uh, when you put a single ripple in the water, depending on the amount of space that that rip, ripple has to travel, eventually it can gain so much momentum back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, that uh, with the aid of, of the wind and a few other things, you know, um, or shaking of the earth, uh, it can become a devastating thing, powerful, you know? Water's currents have been known to pull people under just because they're, you know, disrespecting it. They're unaware when they should be, you know? It is, it is a powerful force on this earth. It's a powerful force within us. And uh, I think that deserves respect. And so that's what I want to show. With the earth, it was about our relationship with it. But our relationship is kind of the same with water. But it is different. I don't want to focus on our relationship. We know what we've done to our oceans and things. I don't need to rub our noses and uh, water's well aware of what we've done. We're, uh, I just want to show the greatness of it, you know. And so I've already picked colors, and I went on a journey, and I went and meditated at my meditation rock. I took some pictures, just a few, on my journey today, and I'll put those in the video too. And, um, when we're all done, I'll take the picture and post it at the very end of the video. And uh, you can have a look at it and see if there's anything deeper in it, you know, if you care to take the time. Magic, you know, it's not that it requires belief to work, it requires belief to see it, you know. And so if you're willing to believe, then I promise you there's plenty to see. If you're willing to look, many perspectives instead of just the one that you normally, you know, or the second one that you normally, because there's only a few that we can normally sit at. But uh, if you're willing to look at it from more than those, from every perspective, uh, there's always so much to be found, so much to be gleaned. It's like, epiphany. I've been amazing myself with it for a while now, and uh, that's why I started doing this now. People to see it. If you look, you will. So. Alright, I'm gonna go paint that picture now. <laughs>
is the thing that allows all uh, transmuting, change, alchemy, animation. And it's a beautiful, powerful, slow, and steady, and constant thing in this reality. And if it wasn't for it, we would all just be dust. Everything would be dust. And so for that, if not for all the many other reasons, <laughs> I call to the energy of water to help me bring a knowledge of the negative and the positive of you and your beauty so that we may all see it in its truth. to use mat because when it's still and quiet it can seem quite simple beautiful and plain and for the softness and gentleness that it is when it is undisturbed I picked the satin for the translucentness of it And then for the fact that it houses the energies inside of us, I decided I would put some of this metallic gold just a little bit in the center. And for the fact that it is involved in all forms of transmutation, alchemy, magic, simple building and tempering and managing of the elements uh, iridescence because that is for magic I bathed the trowel in water and I purified it in smoke for this endeavor. And for the colors, I picked a black for the dark depths that hide beneath the surface. And I picked blue for the way it looks in people's minds and I picked a gray blue for the way it looks when storms are on the horizon this aquamarine for the way it looks in the tropical beautiful places of the world and I did the same in reverse Okay. 
again. flows through the through the earth and over the earth, cooling and digging and gouging. And uh, when you look in any river, stream, ocean, at the bottom, you find the sands and stones of earth. And so I picked these colors. For what you find under her and find her flowing through. This white represents the foam and the froth. When she gets stirred up and slapped against the rocks. These colors are representative of the animals that she houses, the plant life that she houses, and the reflection of the sun upon her in the evening sky. one. 
I will stick uh, pictures of this once it's dry at the end. Uh, I hope you like it as much as I do. Thanks for watching.